What is going on YouTube? It is Flawfish here and welcome back to Trading Block Frenzy. This is Trading Block episode number 13 in the result. We have a lot of stuff going on here and I have to look up some players quickly but I just looked through some trade offers and decided to start recording but nonetheless Raymond has a 4k offer on him. Voracek has um, Evander Kane in 2k which I think I'd rather take the 17k to be honest. Um, Kadri has 6k and then Huberto, Carl and 3.5k or 2.5k so clearly the offers are better than the that uh garrison's offer is um it's bowmeister edler and coburn in 5k so these two let's call them even 3k each that's 6k that's 11k that's gonna be pretty tough to beat 17k to be honest so i'm probably gonna end up projecting that one lucic is 24k so him and grabner equal to 26k and then an extra 6k in quick sells so that's a fairly good offer there as well. Uh, Sagan has one on him, which is 7K. I believe he had Havlat, Verbata, and another player in there. Um, and then St. Louis has four. Myers and Raymond, uh, Skinner. Uh, Seabrook, who goes for 60. Ladd, who's about 10. It's about 70. And Wheeler. And then two Getzlaffs, which are 45 each. Um, at least 45 to 50. I've seen them go for 50. So that's about 100K right there. So that's probably the best offer so let's go ahead and let's um reject some of these ones so this one that's not going to be over 100k um i'll have to check skinner i know that's not over 100k so it's down to those two uh how much time do we have left we have five minutes left see everything's just gonna end bang 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 so i have to be very quick on this one uh johnson we have reimer bissonette and 300 pucks i think uh i mean i could take that one the pucks is probably dead equal so um kipper we have uh grabowski peros and 138 pucks again still better than the current offer um because the quick sells for more uh so we have 8.5k or stasny and ought which is an easy reject now um and then on to actually uh molson Duchesne's, we'll go through Duchesne's because Perry and Sagan and then Ekman, Larson, and Skinner. I'm going to say no to Skinner, to be honest. I don't think he'll be able to do that, but we'll actually check those ones later on. I will just check the Molson because I think I have a little bit more time on these guys. So, um, And then Ekman, Larson, and Bodker, which do sell for more. Anyways, let's start going into stuff we need to look at. So we need to look up Skinner and Bowmeister and Kane as the main two. And Arcane can kind of tell us a little bit of a story, um, but not as significant as others. So we have Samuels, Campbell, so again, an extra 1k, and the other offer was 6k, 7k. 7k, in my opinion, still better than that offer. Um, so I am going to stick to that offer, and then we need to we need to look up the Skinner. So we're going to look up Skinner and Bowmeister, and then Evander Kane. So... Let's go ahead and let's look up Hot Live NHL uh, Carolina USA actually would be right, but oh no wait it's Canada Derp. Uh, so 55k yeah no thank you, no thanks to either Duchesne or um oh we have to look up Perry too, no thanks to Duchesne or to St Louis so um so we added an extra 1k plus a 10k. Again, the other offer is just better. That's just a better offer. Two gets laughs, which is pretty beast. I know I'll be using him on my team for sure, um, which is an offer I like. But 45k in bid, so he's going up. That offer is probably around 90k or so. And then in here we can reject this one. So there we go. So Sagan, we already know, kind of a rough value. Um, Perry is next. Anaheim. And two way forward. Actually, that might be a good trade, depending on what Duchesne's at and what Perry goes for. Because if Perry's 71k, yeah, I feel like I can buy that for less. Um, so I'm gonna reject that one. And NHL, the other one is Bowmeister, which is St. Louis. I think he's around 5k. So rejecting Perry. Um, and where's two way defender? They have a lot of them, but he should be the most frequent. There's actually not a lot on the market here. Uh, there we go. So 5.8k no bid, 6k by now. Yeah, I'll take the bids on Garrison. Um, that seems to be a pretty good deal for him um, in comparison. So Kadri has two on him. 
Uh, we have to look up Huberdo still, but again, we're just going to try to get through as much of this as we can here. Uh, so where is Garrison? So 19k, definitely going to be rejecting that one. Um, thanks to whoever sent the offer in, but again, it's just not the same. Uh, this Raymond one, 4k, no thank you. When he's at 5k on PIDs. Um, Voracek, again, we forgot to look up Evander Kane. So we have to look up Evander Kane quickly. And then 6k. And then Huberdo. We have to look up Huberdo quickly. So Evander Kane and Huberdo are the main, next two players we're looking up. Um, so Winnipeg. Uh, left wing and then Sniper. Let's see. I'm going to say 15. In between that 15 and 20k range or so. Um, so again, not a horrible offer. I'm going to say he goes for 17k. Let's go... You definitely know that he sells for 15k. There's one with 15k on him, so um, we gotta get back fast because it's gonna be bang, 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 bang. Pretty much from here on out, it's just gonna be what I think they go for, which is good and bad. It's why I wish the offers were sent in sooner, but at the same time, it makes it a little bit more exciting because I can mess up easier. Huberto only goes for 1.4k, making the 6k offer the exact same. Um, so we're actually going to go ahead and keep that 6k offer. We have two in on Voracek here. Gallagher, Tlusti, and 16.5k and a change team card. Gallagher's probably 1k. Uh, Tlusti, 1k. So there's 18.5k and 19.5k. I like that offer better than this offer, so I'm going to reject that. The Pucks is a sure sure bet of what I'm going to get there. Um, Kadri here, we have 6k versus this, so we'll reject that. Uh, no offers in on these guys here. So again, we're gonna have to we're gonna get into the real nitty gritty right here. Uh, Lucic is ending soon. Sagan is ending soon. Um, again, this offer just isn't as good as 7k. I think we're gonna take 7k now, and we're gonna lessen up our load here on Sagan. So there's 7k to him, um, and we're gonna be starting to run out of room here, not only in the trade pile. Um, so 20k, 20k is definitely better than this offer in my opinion. So. We're going to reject that offer. Kadri, he hasn't gotten any further on bids. Yes, he has. So let's see here. Um, let's make sure we get some of the big trades done. So Lucic is still going up. Um, so we'll have to watch him. Um, let's, what's the Kadri at? He's at, uh, let's get to it. There we go. So there we go. We got to 6K on Kadri just before. It's going to quick sell the contract. There we go. Um, Voracek sold for 23.5. So Lucic offer looks like it's going to be the best one available. Um, Grammar sold cheap. Havlat sold. Someone got a ridiculous steal on Havlat. 700 pucks. Wow. Same with Horden. Horden for 3.1k. That's pretty cheap. Uh, Garrison's ending soon. Is Lucic having any bids on him? Uh, yes and no. Uh, let's see here. So we got to go back. And this is this is really difficult. I should have spaced this out a lot better. But we got two in on St. Louis, which is this one, which in my opinion is not as good as the two gets laughs. So, so far it's looking like the two gets laughs still. But again, if our puck offers get up fast enough. So we're going to take this Lucci 20s dwindling, dwindling down here. So let's go ahead and let's take it. And let's send it all to the collection right here. Um, we should be able to at least, I hope so. There we go. So all are sent to the collection there. Thank you for that trade offer. St. Louis here. And he's going to be on rapid fire bids here. Um, him, we'll reject that one. Um, let's see, so 21.5. Kipper, Kipper's trade offer is better, so we'll take that one, even if I just have to quick sell everything. Um, we'll just send all to the collection and trade pile. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Can't miss the gets laughs. The gets laughs are the big ones, so let's see, let's see. So 10k for him. Garrison's still going on bids. Um, he's still going strong, so he's at 95k right now. This just comes down to the decision of what I want more. This trade is definitely worse here, so uh, let's go ahead and let's watch St. Louis. 97.5. Man, this is tough. 97.5, that's 78, 88. That's not good enough. Uh, the two gets laughs. I'm going to take the pucks. I'm going to risk it and take the pucks with him. Um, Molson at 3.25k, we'll take Havlat and 500 pucks, um, or 5k, it was 5k I think, yeah. Um, so there we go, uh, St. Louis still going strong on bids. Uh, we still have a little bit of time here, so 
St. Louis at least gives us a little bit of a break here. Uh, we'll see if anyone bids on him. Because, again, I think we have enough time to go look for um, Getzlaff here quickly because he is easy to find. Uh, again, power forward and then Anaheim should be pretty easy to find here. So, again, 50K, 50, 50, 50. He looks to be all over that 50K mark, that 52 to 53K mark. Um, so, again, that is a very good trade offer, but I think we got 100K in for St. Louis, which I am perfectly fine with. So, again, that is kind of a wishy-washy of a trade, but um, I guess it's as accurate as I can describe it. Um, and I would rather take the pox, pure pox at least. So we actually have the Hockey Fights Cancer Duchenne, which is the same stats. I'm going to reje reject this one for the plain simple reason that this Duchesne will sell for more because he has um, he is usable in collections where the other one isn't. So we do have a little bit of time here. Uh, nothing expired, which is always good, um, other than contracts and stuff. And man, that was frantic. I didn't even see what half the stuff sold for, which is... Amazing. I can kind of catch my breath right now. So, again, 105k on Duchesne. Um, realistically, the two guest off trades, that one's tough because, again, the one's at 46k and the highest buy it now was, I mean, we have a little bit of time to go look at this, but um, the highest buy it now, let's look at power forwards. Why did I go all the way this way? I don't even know. Um, but you can see how frantic this gets when the offers just start coming in. I need to space the players out a little bit better. I think that's one thing. But again, if he's got no bids here and no bids at 50k, I'm going to take my odds and say that I can get more with the pucks because pucks give me a little bit more room to play with. And right here, you know, you just start to see some pop up for a little bit around his value there. So I think I made the right decision there, um, saying the pucks was better. Again, pucks is always king, and two of them means that's one spot in my trade pile, but in on Duchesne here, we have Seabrook, Lad, 17k. Again, he's actually going for more than St. Louis, and this offer is less than the offer on St. Louis. So that's why I'm going to, you know, kind of reject that offer. Just logically speaking, if the player is selling for more, then you would take the offer, you would try to up your offer instead of downgrading it. So let's see here, next offer is in. Tange, Sagan, and 7k along with Perry. Perry, we decided was 70k. Um, so let's go with 80k, even 90k. It's just not up to the same speed um, as 105, 105k. Is just that's that's the best offer by far. And again, people who will say that pucks aren't a good representation of or pucks aren't an offer or anything. There's times where your trade pile is full. Like, for example, I've had 30 items up on the auction block, and I can't send in a trade, but I can offer with pucks in the format of a bidding, and that's kind of why I accept it as a trade. Again, it's up to you to decide on that, but <laughs> it's actually funny because I was debating listing them all and listing Duchesne at, at 100k by now, which kind of is crazy because he went for over that. Normally, 50 pucks you don't do very well on either, which is another thing to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, so I do have to find a way to get rid of that Galchenyuk and that Backstrom. So be looking out for that. Um, I believe I'll have either announcement tonight, right after I post this, or tomorrow. And Fleischman adds another 6.5k, 7. Well, he probably averages at 7 to 7.5. So we'll go high side 7.5 for both him and Tangi. That's 15, that's 85, that's 96 again. It's just, the math just doesn't add up for me. If I took Getzlaff, I'd be more inclined to take that. But again, it just doesn't add up. Again, this one doesn't add up. I can just look at it and know it, it isn't the same. Anderson's around 10K and 3K, so 13K is what Kane has to go for. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. And the Duchenne did get another bid here, so he could be going up in price, but I'm actually pretty happy with 105k because when I pulled him, he was only going for 90k. So that's 15k more just from waiting a couple days. And it's amazing how much patience has a role in um, trading for cards and stuff like that. So yeah, that was, that was a frenzy. And I kind of like having this nice little gap to kind of debrief about the trades. 
Um, it's actually really nice because I can kind of explain why I did stuff. And when you get to that middle part, that's when you either make it or break it in the market. Um, especially in a bidding war, like you've got to know what a player sells for. And I think St. Louis actually only goes for around 100k. So I mean, the offers there were pretty good. But uh, let's see what this one is: 2k and then scrubs. I will I will take this one over that one in a heartbeat. So again, we're still watching the Vander Kane here. I don't think Duchesne's going to He's still going up slightly, so who knows on that. Vander Kane's going up too, so he's at about 13K, but we're going to have 211K um, on this console. Actually, 300K on, on Xbox, and we have 200K on PlayStation uh, to kind of do what I want to do with this series, which is actually going to be a lot of fun. It's going to give me a lot more um, pucks to play the market with because right now, in case you didn't know, um, I actually can't buy now a card off the market um unless it's like there's certain like little things i can do to buy it but overall i just can't buy now a card which is very very frustrating but at the same time um it's just it's hard to deal with it and um it's over 4k i can't buy now a card so i'd be fine buying like say duchenne off the market for 106k um by now but actually you know what let's go ahead I guess we have to watch the Evander Kane, but nonetheless, I'm actually really, I really enjoyed this trading block. Like, it forced me to make trades, which is really good, and you guys can get steal on these. You, like, some of these players, you could have gotten a steal on. There's some players that, like, that have, like, all someone had to do was send in a trade with, like, a player worth 1K. Like, you could have sent in Dubinsky, and I would have accepted that trade, because he was going for more at the time. Now... I am going to have to space them out better for sure because, you know, it's a little bit uh, rough that way. But so far, I believe 14k is nearing that time where we reject this offer. We can hold out a little bit. The goalie is definitely nice, but again, if he gets up to 15k, that offer is done. Um, I think 15k was that max on that offer because you, you can buy Anderson. The most common price he's listed at is 11k. And the 3K makes up to 14K, and Biz Nasty brings it up. Even if you put 1K on Biz Nasty, that brings it up to like 15K, which again is a little bit overvalued. So there you go. There's a 15K trade coming in, which means we are rejecting that one. And with still some time left here, Seabrook, Star of the Week, Aginla, and 12K. Again, just going through this, it just does not make sense. Lad, let's call him 15K. Aginla, 7K. Uh, so that's 22k Seabrook 60k. That's 82k. That's 94k and Wheeler is definitely not 13k. So um, I'm pretty safe in rejecting that one, I think. And it looks like Evander Kane is going to go for 15.4k. So I'm also glad I rejected the Voracek one because that meant that trade would have only been 17.4k. I mean, I could have probably priced them better rather than 50 pucks, but. Again, it's just push comes to shove, which one's better. And let's actually go ahead and see what Duchesne's are on the market because these are insane. I did not expect them to actually go this high. Um, let's go ahead and let's look at Colorado Center and Playmaker. And then um, let's just bump this price up a lot. And I, hopefully we don't miss it. But again, I think you could probably buy one now for that price 108k 106k like see people can buy them now for less than what mine's gonna sell for which is kind of funny it just it shows you you know like people that say oh like he goes for higher or whatever or stuff like that like if you watch your market prices enough and don't get caught up in bidding wars you're gonna make a ton of pucks so our grand total is going to be five percent off ea tax it'll be like 105k probably like 231k or 320, 329k. That is a nice nice puck amount to start off the series. Let's actually go look at what the team looks like. I guess I have to put uh, Galchenyuk, or not Galchenyuk, um, Grabowski in there. So let's go look at the team here. I'm holding on to most of the start of the weeks I can. Yeah, this team definitely doesn't have anyone. I actually still have Boychuk and Ekman Larson on here for some reason. But pretty much we're going to have to take... Um, did all our trades involve just pucks? I think so. That's kind of ironic that that happened. But 
Anyways, guys, that is all she wrote on this. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be doing another one, another one of these very soon. Hopefully, I can get up to, you know, like another really good trading block. I'll try to spend at least all 300. I'll try to spend at least 250K for sure for the next trading block on players and then go from there. It's cool having cool having this let me know your thoughts below and again the only thing that i really think i can do better next time is just spacing them out a little bit but at the same time it's not as much fun for me going through these as fast so i'll see what i can do but as always take it easy and peace out